True Sound Studios is in your ears. Hey guys, welcome back to True Sound Studios. I'm Wiesna. Today we are checking out the plugin, The Curve Bender by Softube. This plugin is absolutely amazing. We're gonna put it on a track that has already been mixed and now we're in the mastering stage. And we're just gonna kind of use the plugin to tweak the mix just a little bit. Real quick before we get into this video, check the description box down below to links to this plugin, as well as my mixing and mastering rates if you guys wanna work on a track together. So right off the start, we're gonna work on the low end of this track. Okay, so the kick drum's hitting right around about 68 hertz, so pulling down 70 was pretty good. It doesn't need much, just a little bit. It's just jumping on the track just a smidge, and the, the bass gets slightly lost. Um, so just pulling out a little of that 70 hertz uh, just kind of rounds out that low end a little better. So with the brightness of the track, typically I really love 10K or 12K, especially with the curve bender. It sounds just super nice, super smooth. You get a little of that crispness out of the track. Not Christmas, but crispiness. <laughs> and you can see just by boosting only one decibel at 12K, just brought a little bit more air just to give this track a little bit more clarity. So with the mid range on this track, that like 2.8 to 3K is really great for, you know, boosting little guitars or maybe the vocal. In this case, the vocal is a little lower in the octave. So helping to boost it a little bit really does help. So the 2.8 does sound great. In fact, I love 2.5 on vocals, but uh, in this case, that 3.6 was just perfect. This brought a little bit more of that mid range out. And once again, we're only boosting it by one dB. And then finally with the, the like the low mids to this track, this 400 Hertz is really great between four and 500. I sometimes tend to like to add just to help bring a little bit more body, a little bit more depth to the track. And then I'm just high passing it at 40 Hertz because everything below 40 Hertz is really not necessary on, a, especially on a track like this. So obviously these are small changes, but these small changes do help bring the mix and give it a little bit more lift, especially when we're getting into something like this, where a mastering project where, you know, it is the final, it's the final product. So now let's just go ahead. I'll, I'll take the plug in on and off and you guys will really hear the difference of what this is doing to this track. So you can really hear when the plugins engage, we're, we're, we're tailoring the low end just a little bit, but we're giving a lot of lift to the, to the mids and mid highs, really bringing out some more clarity in this track, just to give it that final polish sound. So this plugin is amazing in stereo mode, but you can also put it in mid side, which is also very helpful when, you know, you're dealing with spatial things in a track that, you know, maybe it doesn't affect the center, but it affects the, the super wide stuff, or maybe it's the opposite. This is becoming one of those plugins that I've just been starting to put on everything thing not only just for mastering but for you know you name it definitely going to get into more of the soft tube plugins coming up here in fact i'm going to get into some videos where i'm only going to use soft tube plugins or just the console one to mix an entire track so that is the chandler limited curve bender by soft tube so thank you for watching this video if you guys enjoyed this video click that like button 
and consider subscribing for more content. So not only do I make YouTube videos, but I also produce tracks and I can mix and master your music. So once again, thank you for watching this video. I'm Wiesna and True Sound Studios is in your ears.